Hey, I was down here in my garden and noticed some chickens getting into things. And so I thought I'd do a quick video about some pros and cons about letting your chickens free range. So for sure the cons are that they get into things. So you can see they've been here scratching. This is our potatoes and there's quite a few little holes, but mostly the potatoes are fine. They're growing fine, but they, they do mess up the mulch. Let's see if there's any other baskets like this, these boxes here. So, um, but for the most part, everything's pretty good. Strawberries look good. Tomatoes look good. Um, they don't do too much damage, but sometimes they can. They mostly are just looking for bugs. They're not usually here to get anything. Um, and as the summer goes on, there's usually more plants like this, so they, they don't even bother that. They, they bother the boxes that didn't have much but dirt. Those are the ones that they like. That one's looking mighty puny. I don't know what's wrong with that one, but we've got a little zucchini growing on it. Coming around the front of the house. Um, I also see the, they've been into these. These Sometimes it's the chicks that are up here on this and sometimes it's the big chickens. For some reason, every year they like that one and they leave this one alone. Well, these are my begonias, so that's pretty disappointing. Handy man. And then coming over here is where I plant my impatience. And in the winter time, the chickens love to hang out right here. Like the sun just shines on it and they just bask in the sun right here. But in the summer, I plant my, my patients here. And uh, other years they've been, well, they, one year before we had chickens, they were beautiful and got really huge. But since we've had chickens, they don't grow that much. But these have just been planted recently. So we'll see, hopefully they get bigger, but the chickens do, it's hard to keep them out of here. Uh, so now for some pros, I guess I just like having them be able to have their freedom is my main thing. I like that they can just come under here. This is the pawpaw trees, one of their favorites. They love to just sit under the shade here. And the chicken yard is down there where the fence is. And you can see right now it's not having much shade. So I'd hate to keep them in there all day. So we do need to plant like a big tree or bush in there so they can have some shade. Um, in the winter it kind of stays too shady. So it's nice that they come out and sit in the sun when they want to. Uh, we do have a fence. I can show it to you, but it was not a good fence. So I don't recommend that one, but it is supposed to be really high. The chickens can't fly over, but they can. We got the extra high one, the extra big one, like the biggest that they had. Um, but the ki the chicks can squeeze through the holes, so we've had to add some extra fencing down here. And then the kids are trying to add some extra fencing on the top to help them not fly over, but it's not. We've got to fix it, but that's okay. Uh, so this is their chicken yard that we put up for at least... We were thinking when we first got chickens to put it up for if we we're going on to a Christmas party or something like that. They could be locked in here and then they could just go in the green door by themselves and it will close behind them just so they, they felt safe. Uh, what else do you want to say? Um, but we haven't used it a whole lot. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> because they can still fly over. Several several of them can. Um, but I do I ever lock them in there? <laughs> like Maybe like the week we plant seeds in the garden we try to either lock them in there if we're, especially if we're gonna like watch a movie or something, but otherwise we're almost outside all the time. We're looking out our windows and we'll just run and chase them out of the garden. We're like, chickens in the garden, chickens in the garden. And someone will run out and chase them uh, the, so that they don't eat the seeds. But so far they haven't, everything came up. And last year everything came up. They really haven't messed with the garden too much. It's just moving the mulch like I showed you that that's annoying. Today we're using the fence to try to keep the big chickens out. That's our guinea hen. That cinnamon. So, I'm trying to keep those chickens out and have a little spot in here for Sunny and her chicks. She's got seven little chicks. So, fence is useful for that. Uh, either keeping them in sometimes if you need to or keeping them out. But otherwise, they're pretty much free range and go all over the place. I love having the woods for them to go down there and find lots of bugs and stuff. <laughs> And uh, I love that they can just be all over the yard. Just having a good time, getting all the bugs and grass and anything they want to. Almost. Uh, I like that they can take their dust baths in here. We got lots of dust bathers right now. 
I also like them to be able to come in here when it's raining because it's, it's really big and we don't really ever see chicken poop in here. But otherwise, if they're down in their yard, then when it rains, the only shelter they have is their coop and then it, we just have to clean it out and it's, uh, I'll do a coop tour, but it's just small cinder block um, basement part of our barn down there. So it's, it's hard to clean out. I don't ever clean it out. Caitlin and McKenna clean it out, but you have to like bend over to, to get in there anyway. So it's just nice to keep that a little bit cleaner because they're only in there at night. So we don't have to clean it out too often, not in going in there all day. Uh, what else? Uh, I feel like since we've got 36 acres that they should have plenty of bugs and freedom and everything and they should be able to stay out of my flowers because that's the only thing I don't want them getting into. This is our hose. So it goes to about where the pool is. So it's a lot easier to just water, give them water up here and dump out water and fill it every day or a couple times a day or whatever. The ducks kind of make it muddy than having to haul water down to their coop. So that's nice. Caitlin and McKenna are gonna answer some frequently asked questions. Caitlin's been watching, or she had watched some YouTube videos before we got our chickens and couldn't find answers to things. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to answer a few. Um, so some questions I've heard are like, how do they stick around and go to the coop at night and stuff? So at first we were afraid they like all run into the woods. We first got five chickens. So we um, just hung out with them and we read books outside and on our camp chairs. And then they just hung around and like, if you hang around them, then they'll usually hang around you and they'll get to like you. And if you're like the one to feed them food and everything, then they'll get used to you and then they'll just usually stick around more. Um, and when for going into the coop at night, then uh, if you usually just have a cozy place, like nice off bedding and roosting bars, then they'll automatically be attracted to that area. Um, so they just found our coop by themselves and they went into the chicken coop, but once some of them stopped going into the chicken coop, they decided they like to roost in the trees. So we um, fed them some food. Um, and we have a call that we go, here, chick, chick, chickies, to get them all to come running. So before we give them <laughs> food, usually when we were first training them, then we'd call, here, chick, chick, chickies, and then pour out some food. So they'd all get used to that call and I'll come running whenever we called that. So it's easy like um, to have a call for them. And once there was a predator around and they're all off in the woods, so we weren't sure if all of them were still there. So we just called here, chick, chick, chickies. They all came running and they, we could count them all and everything. It's just nice to have a call like that, I guess. Yeah, sure. And sometimes like if I've seen them back there in the garden or something, I don't have to, sometimes I chase them out with it and be like, run, go, 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 go. And they all kind of run. <laughs> go, 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 go. Uh, or um, I'll come over here and just bring out some like two rotten bananas or their like the compost bin. And I'll just be here, chick, 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 and I'll just call it really loud. And they'll all come running. It's, it's pretty funny. They'll all come running from the garden. I'm like, okay, stay over here. <laughs> yeah. And they're all pretty easy to catch. And so like, we just catch them often. Uh, during the day so they get used to us and now they're pretty easy to catch and that's also nice sometimes. Yeah, they are really easy to catch and play with. So they're the kids' as pets. Um, that's what I kind of say the expense for is for, is their hobby. I'd rather do that than drive them all around town doing lessons and things because they're I can just stay home. I'm a real homebody person. Uh, I think they're learning a lot from having chickens. Anytime like a kid I don't want to say get in trouble, but like offended, you know, <laughs> like Andy gets yeah. offended a lot. He'll be like, you need to, you need to do this or clean your room better or something. And he'll just come outside and like play with the chicken and then he'll come in and he's mm -hmm. in a better mood. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's a good uh, hobby for them to have and to learn to take care of, to play with. The real reason I have them free ranging, I think is just, I must have some sort of fear of being captured or like, I like my freedom. <laughs> I think I would not like to be in a room all the time without freedom. Um, and having babies, I was kind of the same way. I didn't really use play pens and um, I never really child proofed my house. Like I let the, if they want to go upstairs, I just help them learn. I would sit there with a book and just help them go up and down, up and down until they're good at it. And 
around the house. I just kind of let him explore things and never like, no, don't do that. I was just always just like, yeah, this is a pencil sharpener, but you know, it's just for pencils. You don't put your finger in it or whatever. Just teaching them really gently. And so anyway, I like uh, the chickens to be able to just have their freedom to run around. It just makes me really happy, I guess. Watching them explore in the woods, watching them scratch and peck. There comes Toasty just, you know, this makes for a really beautiful day. I think when you just see animals happily running around. Uh, what else do I want to say? For predators, we've actually had a lot more, or all of them have been her inside the fence. Yeah. Like one morning when they were still locked up, we hadn't opened them. Then was that when the fox came? Yeah, yeah the fox jumped, the over the fox jumped over the fence and grabbed one and took off. And the chicken did come hobbling back, but she ended up dying a few days later. Yeah. yeah. Um, we've had a hawk get one when they were all in the fence. Day. And raccoons will come at night, like, close, you know, dusk and stuff. And the chickens will start hanging out down here. Like, that automatically know to go in at night. And so they all just start hanging around down here as soon as it starts to get about get dark. And then they'll go in their coop. But, um... So sometimes I just hang out out here because I'm afraid a raccoon will come like at seven at night, even though it gets dark at eight or whatever. It's and, and they're always like down by the coop. So we try to keep it clean so they don't know that chickens live there. But yeah, we usually clean it about like once a week. So it's not as like attractive. And once we were dumping all the um, stuff, the chicken poop and everything, all the bedding from the soil bedding from the coop and we we're dumping it down there. And then a raccoon was attracted to it, so we took it farther away into the woods over there. Yeah, that's And it true. hasn't been back in a while. Yeah, that's true. We haven't seen it in a long time. And so I don't think we've had anyone um, die from being out of the fence. So I feel like in the fence, like, it, you know, the animals will learn that they're there and they're going to be able to go get them easier. But when they're just, like, running around all day, they um, haven't been caught. To sum it up, the cons are that they get into the garden too much or they have the risk to if we're all at church or something they could easily all go down there and devastate the garden pretty quick it's never happened before the garden is pretty far away from their coop but I do constantly watch the garden um, or looking at my windows and watching my flowers um, so it's kind of a waste of time trying to keep uh, a watch on them all they also sometimes poop on the sidewalk so that's you got to watch your step so those are the three main cons um, of having free-ranging chickens but the pros are that they feel like they're really happy healthy chickens they have uh, freedom to go wherever they want and scratch, you know, if they decide to go in the woods or in the fields or uh, they've been under the cherry tree all morning, eating all the dead cherries or the um, rotten cherries that have fallen out of the cherry tree. So I love to see that they just know exactly where to go and where the good stuff is. Um, I love that they can satisfy the natural curiosity of exploring because I love to explore. I love watching babies explore and learn new things. I love learning. I feel like they've um, been a little bit safer being free ranging, uh, running around instead of being in a coop where uh, predators would know where they are. The chicken coop stays cleaner because they are outside more often and so they're not hardly ever in the coop. Even if it's raining, they're in like the woodshed or under one of our porches or something. So the chicken coop stays a little bit cleaner. And also the grass is fertilized all over the place pretty evenly because they're running around all the time. Thanks for watching. No, one more thing is that I feel like they're a lot healthier. I mentioned that also because my customers tell me that their egg yolks are even oranger than other farmers that they buy their eggs from. And I think it's because they have such a varied diet, they can get lots of different grasshoppers and bugs and spiders and stuff all over the place in the yard. And so I do feel like their eggs are a little bit healthier. Um, so I think that's about it now. Thanks for watching.